So, Kurt, it's been a few days. How are you feeling? Good, good. Um, it, relieved. Uh, it's, it's different uh, being able to walk about and uh, go in public and, and not have uh, the, uh, the monitors on my ankle um, restricting me in my movement. And do you want to go back to Quincy and resume your life there? We really haven't decided yet. Mm -hmm. um, we have a lot of big decisions to make. Um, this has devastated us financially. Um, it's been a life-changing event. Um, you know, we both have to figure out you know, what we're going to do uh, professionally. Um, we still have bills to pay. Since you were found not guilty, can you go back to being a lawyer, do you feel? I, I can. Um, do you want to? I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 I'm, I'm going to uh, reactivate my license, I can tell you that. Um, but what, am I, what I'm going to do with it after that, we're, we're really not sure. I, I know that we're getting through today. Um, I know we have plans through this week. But beyond that, um, there, there was just so much wreckage in our life that was created um, by this investigation and by this prosecution. Uh, that uh, that we're having to start over. How's this impacted you, Christine? Um, it's devastating. Um, I no longer have a career um, like Kurt. We live day by day figuring out how to pay bills. You know, there's no book telling you what do you do when your husband has been accused of a murder. At some point, you're going to walk, you're going to drive back into Quincy. Mm -hmm. Is that today or tomorrow? Uh, it'll be this week. It'll be this week, yeah. And what do you think that's going to be like for you? Um, I don't know. When I say we're starting over, um, we're starting over.